Hi. Well, I got my permit for my solar to add on another 9,000 watts of solar to my pre-existing system. Some of the stuff I had to go through, I, I had to give them a uh, copy of my manual. This is the uh, GrowWatt 5000 ES manual. Okay, and this is just the transaction type of thing. Okay, so here's my permit. I believe, yes. Now this is the panels. The uh, so I gave them a printout on the panels there, you know, and I got it circled up there which panels and what the voltage is and the amperage, and that way they could uh, check that out, you know. That's on the panels, that, the new panels. Okay. And this is from the Iron Ridge website. This is the uh, mounting system that I'm using. And I showed them the layout of how the panels are going to be mounted. Okay. That way they can track and they can... Uh, go, oh, okay, that's how he's going to do it. So, and we're in a special wind zone, so I can't just put my panels out there and not have them cement it in, and they got, they got to, because every, everything's being approved, okay? And uh, they, uh, and actually they, um, they did not um, pass my first application. I had to reapply and give them more information. And this is what I had to give them. Okay. I don't know how much of this you can see, so this this is to provide an explanation of the solar panels and how they are to be wired. First, the existing solar panels are to be wired to two of the inverters. They are wired eight in series, creating 360 volts, 9.37 amps, two strings per inverter. These are 3,000 watts per string. The inverters are rated at 6,000 watts. By doubling the strings, we will have each inverter at 360 volts, 18.74 amps, and 6,000 watts of solar input. The solar panels can't be mixed. So the brands don't matter, but with a 35 watt difference, it's actually a 45 watt difference, they have to be attached to separate inverters. So on to the new panels and hopefully in the new array. This is after I was denied the first application. These are Trina Solar 330 watt panels. I am sending in the spec sheet. The voltage is 37.2. So the voltage will be 297.6. The amps 880 or 8.87 per string. The strings will be eight panels also. There will be three strings, two strings going to one inverter, one string going to the fourth inverter. The, the third inverter will have 297.6 volts, 17.74 amps, and 5,280 watts. The fourth inverter will have 297.6 volts, 8.87 amps and 2,640 watts. This is what I had to provide them in order for them to approve my plan. 
I'm gonna just flip back through, make sure that I've got everything that I provided with them. Okay, that's just the same sheet. And I believe this is the last page of the, yes, that's the last page of the manual. And they told me I can use the gra my grounding for my existing solar that's out there. So this was what I had to do in order to get this permit. I just wanted to put this out there. All of, all of my solar system has been permitted and it's been approved at every step of the way. And I had to do that in order to have that you know because if I decide to sell this house I don't want to have solar panels on the house or in my yard that are not have not been inspected and approved because then you cannot actually sell that with the solar you have to take it out so and by having it approved, my neighbors can't say nothing. So this is, uh, and the reason for doing this is part of it is the electric vehicle. Part of it is, if you can see out there, we had a little bit of snow last night and it's been cloudy. The sun's not out there shining, okay. And we had a little bit of snow and it's been cloudy the last three days. So I'm using more grid power right now, especially charging the car. And I didn't switch over to the grid today until this morning. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that you can get these off-grid inverters approved by your building department. Um, the thing is, is you cannot back feed to the grid. So, you know, you can have grid as a backup, but you cannot back feed onto the grid. So, in the next, I don't know exactly, I, I've got some more parts that haven't showed up yet. So, as far as getting the uh, building it right away plus it's cold outside it's not it's probably going to be at least two to three more weeks I'm still waiting on parts from signature solar so and I have got most of my parts but some of the stuff is on back order so we're just getting ready I have six months in order to complete the project so there there's my there's my approved permit so you guys you can get these grow watts approved you just cannot back feed to the grid so with our car and plus these cloudy days and if you can see over there the mountain we'll see if we can zoom in there Yeah, I don't think you can see it. It's pretty cloudy out there. So, but if you could see over there at that mountain, that mountain is covered in snow out there. So, we're, uh, we're just hoping that we can uh, have more solar. Yesterday, we only had 15% um, capacity, you know, from the clouds and the snow. <laughs> Our solar only produced about 15% of its capacity. And on these cloudy days, that's when you need the extra solar panels. And that's why I went through the permit process. And that's why we did go ahead and get that permit and 
hopefully we'll have that up and running before too long. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.